Hey there, it's Patty again, and here today I'm going to talk to you about sphere campaigns. Why do you need a sphere campaign and what is a sphere campaign? Well, a sphere campaign is something that just basically keeps you in front of anyone in your database, any prospect, any past client, anybody that you met that you want to eventually sell real estate to. And what it's going to do is send basically one thing a month. That's what I do. I send one thing a month. A lot of the reason I only send one thing a month is because I might also do a holiday campaign throughout the year or maybe I might send a newsletter. So I don't want to overkill it. But this, the Sphere campaign is really meant to just keep you top of mind. And so I uh, created a two year Sphere campaign which basically has 24 email templates in it and two texts a year, so four texts. Um, I am one not to over text. I feel like over texting can really cause you to lose clients and database uh, and anybody in there that might not want to hear from you every single month. So um, I'm just be careful about over texting. So for me, it's just checking in twice a year. Um, and so anyway, I built this campaign and I am now giving this campaign away. So I hope that if you want it, I'd go ahead and latch onto it. So in order to get it, you just got to click on the link somewhere on the screen and um, get it and download it and it's yours. Now what I'm going to do right now is because I don't know what CRM you're going to use. I don't care which CRM you use. If you're looking for one, reach out to me. But if you've got one that you love, then you might want to um, watch this video because I'm going to show you basically how to take the templates I've created edit them so that they work for you really quickly before you do an import or an addition into your CRM. And then I'm just going to show you how I would do it inside of one of my CRMs. I've got various different CRMs for my business as a real estate agent. I have a few, partly because I am a CRM queen. What am I supposed to do? By the way, at this point, if there's anything you want help with, you need to reach out to me. There's all kinds of ways to do that. Um, and definitely you can click on this you'll get my uh, my campaign and i'll stay in touch with you that way or reach out if you want me to help you build campaigns for you in your crm because i know it can be a real pain i personally have a team that helps me i know it's a lot of work but um, i'm really obsessed with this whole idea of staying in front of my leads because we know people don't come online today and buy a house from us tomorrow, right? So we have to stay in touch with them and stay in front of them until they're ready to go. And they, we need to be able to instill trust, right? So that's a lot of what we're going to do. The Sphere campaign that I created is really there to provide all kinds of tips and different ideas and thoughts throughout the two years. Um, and it's not always related to real estate. In fact, I just created a new template that talks about using AI in your home. So it's not always real estate related, although I try my best. But the campaign is also here to help um, ask for referrals. And uh, so you might be using this for a close client of yours. And those are the best people to ask for referrals from. So um, just keep all that in mind as you're creating this. So let's go ahead and switch over so that you can um, watch my screen as I show you how to quickly edit this. And then you can take this campaign right now and download it and uh, put it in any CRM that you want. And again, if you're looking for a better CRM, make sure you reach out to me. Um, I help in every CRM, but I also have my own. So whichever ones you want to use, it all comes down to the one you can learn and the one you will use. So that's the key. And I don't care which one it is. I can help you in all of them, all of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to switch over. So once you have downloaded it, it is in word format. So you should be able to easily work with it. Uh, I highly recommend that you always do any edits to the campaign prior to importing it or, or copying and pasting it into your CRM because it just is quicker and um, it just makes way more sense because you can do it sometimes in bulk. And that's what I'm going to show you now. In fact, let me move me over here out of the way. Whoops, I really moved me out of the way. Where'd I go? I lost myself. Okay, I'm back. Uh, okay, so the first thing is when you get in, you're going to see um, instructions and they're in red here. So make sure that you follow these. But basically, the first line of each of these templates is the template description. So you can add that to your CRM. You need this description in order to know what template you're 
using in the future. The second line of each template is the subject line. And um, then you're going to copy that and put it in. And we'll talk about what you have to do to make sure that's correct in your CRM. And then I've also provided you some images in some of these templates. I will tell you that I'm not a huge fan of tons and tons of template or tons and tons of images. Um, because I tend to think they look advertising and even worse, they could cause your email to go into spam. So for me, I'm about providing value and not a bunch of fluff. So if you come in and you see, oh, how come they look so plain Jane? That's because we want to get a response. We want to get them delivered. We want to get them opened and we want to get a response. And if there's too much fluff in there, it's going to look like an ad and we don't want it looking like an ad. Got it? All right, now what I want you to do first and foremost is to make a couple changes in the templates and you can do this really simple. There are a number of fields in here and these are called merge fields right here. If you see this right here, this is a merge field. This merge field is going to pull in the first name of your consumer or your contact, right? We don't want to ever personalize any of these because these are templates that are going to be used for more than one person. So every CRM out there in the world has a ability to add a merge field code. They call them different things, um, but in most cases it's called like a merge field or a merge code or a merge tag or something along those lines. So you have to go to your CRM, whichever one it is, and make sure that you have that down. You have to get this first name in because this first name is going to pull in and personalize all of your letters for you automatically. Okay, so sure, you could take this out of every email if you don't want it, but personally, I think you're making a mistake not keeping it in. So that means you need to go to your CRM and locate where that's at. I am going to go over to my Chime account. I have a Chime account, but I have you know, a bunch of other com companies out there that I use, but I'm going to show you where to find it in Chime just as an example, because it's going to be very similar in the CRM that you're in. And you usually will find it by just going into creating a new template. And then somewhere in here, you're going to see maybe a button up here, or you might have something similar to this, where in this case, we have an ability to add these variables in. Now, I want your first name only. It's all we want. So we're going to put, just pull it up so that you can grab it and see what it is. So I know it's this, right? So I'm just going to go here and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to the letter and I'm going to put it in the letter. So the easiest way for me to do this so that it will pull into every single template, and I've got all the templates lined up down here, see, I put it in, is for you to simply come in here and run a search and replace. So in Word, you're gonna to go to Home, and you're gonna go over to the far right and go to Replace, and you're gonna find what? Well, we're looking for this. So you're gonna to have to, let me just paste in this before I lose it, because we're gonna replace this with this. Got it? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to put that here, right? And make sure you don't have any other uh, little things which sometimes happens. The little uh, bullet point pops in. So you don't want that. You don't want, you don't want any spaces. You don't want anything because everything's built in order for this to work correctly. Now I'm basically telling this, the software, please pull that out and replace it with that. All right. So we're basically just going to replace all and it's making 78 replacements, which means that first name is showing up 78 times because I put it in the subject line and I put it in the body. And sometimes I'll put it in the body twice. So that's why there seems like there's a lot, but this makes it really fast and easy. So you don't have to manually come in here and do this. Um, okay. So now what do we do? The footer. The footer again is your signature line. Now in many CRMs, now this is something really important to know, your signature line, which is pulling from your profile, your settings area in your CRM might automatically be added to every letter that you send, even without putting a field in. This is something you have to find out from your CRM company. So let's head back over to um, here. And I can just tell you that Chime, for instance, has a setting in the system that gives us an option to put the footer in if we want, or the signature line, which is basically what we're looking for. Um, but it also has a box that you can click. So again, you need to know if you want it or don't want it, or you need it or don't need it. So if you need it, then you need to go to wherever the signature line footer is and put it and grab that. Now, in this case, it's this. Um, and I do suggest whichever CRM is that you figure out what it is 
and then if you really need it, because you might not because it's automatically loading without it. Okay, but if there's a field, most likely you'll need to add it. So in this case, we're going to um, do the search and replace again, and we're going to search and replace that footer. So I'm going to skip down here and put that one that I just grabbed. And this one I have is footer. I'm just replacing it. I could type it in too. And I'm going to hit replace all. So however often this is shown up, in this case it was 25 times, I've got it. All right. And then the agent name. Now, in this case, even though you could pull this from your CRM in a field, I suggest simply that you replace this with your name, however it is you want it. It's that easy, really, instead of actually using the field. So let's just go here. I'm just going to type in, I want to find this, and I want to replace it with my name. It's always pulling in that little period, which is kind of a pain, but I'm trying to do things. All right, so I'm just going to put in my full name here and just replace all. So every single time my name shows up. Uh, now, keep in mind, the signature line is pulling my name in most of the time. So where you're seeing this mostly happening is going to be in some text that are in the system. And then your brokerage. You're going to do the same thing here. If, you're, if you are have the ability to put it in from your CRM, great. If you don't, then put your brokerage information in here and just type it in. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And we're going to cheat now. I'm just going to go brokerage, uh, broker. I can't see. Uh, I can't see because I just had cataract surgery and I got my other eye yet to be done. Um, now I'll put my, my information in for my current broker and then, um, hit replace all. Now you're going to want to hit it twice because it's going to go down and then it's going to come back up, make sure that it's not missing anything. So always hit it twice. Okay. And then the city. What about the city? You don't have to put the city city if that's, if you work a bunch of different cities. You could put like the Phoenix metro area. Like I live in Scottsdale. I might work all over the, the metro area. I might say the Northeast Valley because that's where Scottsdale is, but I also like to work the surrounding cities without going to the west side of town. So you could put in anything you want here for the city. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put city, and I'm going to call it the Northeast Valley. If you live in the area, you know what I'm talking about, right? Same thing. You know where you work. So put that in and then replace it. And we've replaced it at 33 times because it's showing up in all, all over the place because they're, we're letting them know where we're at. This makes your email much more personal and your text too. Same thing here with your website. So whatever your website is, then put that in here. Okay. And hopefully you got one. And especially since you should be able to run searches, right? So I'm going to change website out. And right now I've got a lot of different websites. So I'm just going to just put in Patty's website right here. Uh, because I'm not, I'm just showing you an example. Okay. Replace all. Okay. Hit it twice. So that replaces it. And in this case, I think it's pulling up maybe once in a text because again, some of this information is already in my signature line. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. So you can see if you go down, you're going to see that you have, I have everything in here. It automatically replaced everything. The only field you really should see, honestly, uh, should be the first name because it pulls in both the subject line and in the salutation. So you might see it in there once or twice. And then, um, maybe if you're leaving the field in for your footer, that would be here too. But you can see that the information is pulling in and I, it's replaced everything. See, there's the footer, the new one. I would just make sure that you really take a close look to make sure everything pulled in correctly. If it didn't, there might be a few edits here and there, or there might be additional edits you want to make. But what I would say is, don't go too crazy trying to edit the subject lines um, because they are really meant to help you get mail open and to make it look more like you are an agent. The only other suggestion I would have is to go into your, if you can, go into your profile and change up the name that you're sending email from. Uh, it doesn't need to necessarily have your full name. I would say something, let me just type in an example. Um, I might put in uh, Patty. This, in, as opposed to the first and last name in the fields of what your name is, because this is going to be the email that's sending out the from line of your account, if your account, right? So I might say my first name is Patty, and then I'm going to go in my last name box and do at AZ Home Info. Now, when things get sent out, 
that people know that I am a real estate agent. So I would suggest you do that in your settings. I can't go into every CRM and show you how to do this. You have to know where to do this stuff in your system. But usually you can go in and make that edit. And then it's just going to be better because in the from line of your email, they're going to see that you are a real estate agent. And so what your subject line just makes it, you know, working the two, the two working together is going to help you get more opens. Okay. So think about that. You don't have to, but I would do that. And I would go into my Google account, not just my CRM, but I'd go into my Google or my personal email account and do the same thing. If you're getting an email from me for this, you're seeing Patty CRM gal or something like that in the front line. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We want to make sure they know that you're a real estate agent. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. All right. Now, uh, the simple thing you're going to do as far as creating your templates is I will tell you that I simply just take this and copy all the way down. Now, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen with the photos on this particular one, but I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my um, account where I'm creating my templates. And usually your template building is going to look similar to this. Some systems will require you to put a subject line in first or a description in first. I think KB Core is like that. It's really kind of a pain, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to paste the entire thing in right here. And then what I'm going to do is just take this and copy it or cut it out, right? And then put it in as the name. So you're not going back and forth. Now in Chime, unfortunately, you only get 40 or so characters in here to put in the name. So it's something you have to think about when you are doing this. You might need to rename it because it's too long for Chime. But anyway, food for thought. All right, now I'm just taking this. And then what I'm going to do, because sometimes when you copy and paste, you lose spacing and stuff. So you want to make sure that you go through the letter really closely and that it pulls in everything. Now you'll note the image didn't come through. So how do I deal with the image? Well, if I want to take this image, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to save it, save it, right? Save as a picture. And then what you'll do is go back over to your letter, find where it goes. You know, if it doesn't paste in automatically, so let's just put it here just for now. Um, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload my image and add it to the add it to the screen. So for right now, let me just go ahead and throw in one of these. Choose. Let's just put this in. Just like I had uploaded an image, but most of our CRMs are going to operate the same way. So you do want to make sure that the image comes in at a decent size and you can edit the image or whatever you need to do so that it fits okay, right? So totally up to you if you even want to add the image. And if you do, you can add any other image you want, you know. Um, and then in this case, we have a choice to put it into a folder if we want to do all that. But again, I'm not getting into that be detail because I don't know what CRM you're using. I'm just using Chime right now as a sample on how to build this thing. So the other important thing to know, you may not be able to add a field to the subject line. So you have to test that. Now, when it comes down to testing, I highly recommend that you add yourself in to your CRM like you're a contact, like everybody else. And then what you're going to do is um, make sure that your email in that contact is not the same as the one that you're sending from inside of your CRM because the email services of the world don't like it when you're emailing yourself to the same address and it will look spammy and then you're going to end up looking more spam, more like a spammer. So we don't want you to do that. So be careful about it, right? Um, now, whatever you're going to do with your texting, again, you need to go find your text texting area. In this case, if you have texting and you might not, then just blow off the text. But you can create your text here and you can add them. There's no subject line in a text. So you're just going to copy and paste it in, copy and paste it in, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so that's it. Um, and then you're going to build your campaign. And again, the campaign sends one template a month. So if however you need to schedule, and again, I can't go into that here, uh, depending on your CRM, I've done training on line desk. I've done training on KV core. I've done training in chime on how to build campaigns. If you go to the YouTube channel, uh, if you're in the YouTube channel now, I don't know where you're at, but wherever you're at, um, hunt me down and just type in my name, Patty Sampson. And, and then go to in YouTube and then type in KB Core or Chime Line Desk because I've done training on all three of those and I don't know, I've got others I'm going to be loading in. So if I don't have yours, reach out. I'll try to record one for you. That might just mean I don't have access to those accounts. If I 
if you want to give me access, I'll record one for you and you can have it as long as you let me put it on YouTube. I'll do it for free. Okay. So, uh, hopefully that's it. All right. Uh, so you just want to build it. So one thing goes out a month and then when those texts show up, you just put, send those like every six months, you can put them anywhere in your campaign. Then you just need to learn how to turn it on for everyone in your database. Again, something I can't teach in this particular video. Um, but I do train in lots of different CRMs. So, um, cause I'm all for using the CRM that works best for you. And then you should be good to go. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube. And if you're not, get to YouTube and subscribe to my channels and, um, Make sure that you get some help if you want more campaigns because I got plenty of them and you've got a link there, uh, here in the, um, in the document. So make sure you reach or out. You can order them there, uh, where you can copy and build them yourself or you can have us do them for you. Probably a better deal. We'll get them done way quicker without all the hassle. So don't forget. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Hey, it's Patty Sampson. Guess what I have? It is my new book, Drip Campaign Secrets. My labor of love is here. It's here and I'm excited. It's out and it's on Amazon. You can get it digital or you can get the paperback version. It's about 275 easy read pages and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So what you're gonna get is the ultimate guide to the CRM and drip campaign mastery. Capture, nurture, and convert more leads to keep your pipeline full real estate agents. So go to the link below, get the book. I'm excited. I think it's time for you to finally get your follow-up poop in a group. And now is the time to do it because the book is here and you can get it either digital, you can get it paperback. And eventually I do plan on getting in the audible version, but right now I wanted to get it out to you because this is so key. It's quiet now, maybe for you because People are in a holding pattern at this moment, but um, whether or not, whenever you're watching this video, everybody needs this. If you're getting any kind of leads, everybody needs this book because you have to be sure you've got your stuff set up right. And uh, we're gonna give you every opportunity to get all the help you need, either through the book, doing it yourself, or how to get help from me. So anyway, get, get the book and let's get you up and running and finally automating your follow-up. Drip Campaign Secrets and the link is, just check it out below. We'll see you soon. I can't wait to have you read it. You're gonna learn a ton.